Hey guys, Tasha here. I'm out doing some trips over at CVS and Walgreens. Uh, right now I am going into CVS. I am hoping to get a couple good deals. Um, preferably I try to get all of my items under a dollar total. So we'll see what I can get with the coupons I have today. All right, I'll show you a little footage inside and we'll meet up afterwards. So we're back in the car. I'm like sweating because it's super hot in my car. I don't know why. I've just been really sweating lately. Um, so it didn't go as well as I hoped, but I really was just winging it this last time. I was hoping there would be a glitch and I'd get um, the additional $7 off the Evercure um, shampoos that I grabbed, but I ended up getting those and it only took off the seven dollar manufacturer coupon and the three off 18 crt that i had on my account so that kind of kept my price a little higher um i do think that tracked towards beauty so i'm probably gonna get a three dollar extra buck which i'm not counting into this um actually i might get six dollars extra bucks because i also get some makeup yes anyways i got a l'oreal um some L'Oreal makeup, you probably saw those on there. Um, anyway, so I did a degree coupon, the $3, the degree products were buy one, get one half off, and I got four. I did a $3 manufacturer coupon, paper coupon for each one, and the $3 coupon glitched for both of them on the CVS um, when they punched in my phone number, the digital coupons. So that was good. Um, it just seems like the makeup coupons didn't really work that I was hoping for um, on the digital side. But anyways, I ended up getting um, $20. I paid with, anyways, side note. I paid with the um, extra bucks I had on hand, which was a $7 one, a $5 one, a $4 one, and a $2 one, putting me at $17 I paid towards that. And then I paid $17.51 out of pocket and I got back $20 in extra bucks. I will tell you what I got the extra bucks on. So this ended up total cost for me was $15.51 and I got 11 items. So it is over a dollar an item. I think it's like a dollar 20. So it's a little bit over, it's less than the dollar 50. So that's good. So this was, like I said, a little bit higher than I'd like to pay. I like to pay under a dollar for an item. But these items are kind of pricey, um, all of these. I don't usually buy these at all, so that's cool. And the um, Ever Pure, I believe these are $10, not on sale each. And I have three of these, so realistically, I did really well. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's look at what else I have. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting three or six dollars in extra bucks back for the beauty club. I'm getting at least three. So that would drop me down to like $12.50 if one I paid for anything today, which would put me just over a dollar an item. Um, I'm tracking towards Revlon. I need to spend another $6.72. Um, I don't know, you guys probably can't see it. 
uh, $6.72 to earn another $4 extra buck. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I reached my limit on deodorant. It says spend $15 to get a $5 extra buck, and I did L'Oreal and the CoverGirl offer limit reached. So all my makeup coupons I've reached my limit is probably why I didn't get as much as I expected. Um, I really should grab a, the flyer when I go in, but I never see it right when I get in. So I got a $4 extra buck for spending $12 on Revlon Cosmetics. I got a $5 extra buck on spending $15 on the degree, but this also says do uh, Dove and Suave, so you could tie those into that if you wanted to. Um, I got a $5 reward for the L'Oreal Ever Hair Care product. And I got a $6 reward for buying two CoverGirl Cosmetics. And they also got a couple of coupons. But, so I got $20 back, which is great. And overall, spending $15 isn't that bad. Or $12, if after I get my beauty bucks there. $12 for everything I got. So, it's not a money maker, but maybe next time. Maybe next time. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm just starting out so bear with me. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.